Okay, so how do you approach a job interview from an emotional intelligence perspective or a spiritual perspective? The way in which you approach it is to understand desperation. Desperation reeks like fear. Like sharks can smell fear in the water, right? Or blood in the water. People can sense when you're afraid and desperate. And that never comes off well. It never does. Like, I remember hiring someone who, she actually turned out to be amazing. But the job interview was very strange. She was just super, super nervous. So we had to do a couple of interviews to make sure she just wasn't crazy. But the bottom line is, when we hired her and she relaxed, then we could communicate. She did an amazing job. And I'm super glad we hired her. But the point was, the interview, if I didn't know human emotion as well as I do, the interview was very strange. And it gave me mixed feelings about her. Knowing what I know now, I can just see that she was desperate for a job. She was super desperate for a job. And actually, it wasn't because of money. It was because of um, she didn't feel what the job she was doing was, you know, to her level of expertise. But the desperation piece is very important because you have to come off authentic in a job interview. You have to come off authentically you, right? You got to put your regular foot forward. Most people say put your best foot forward. And I'm not saying not to dress appropriately for the occasion. Definitely do that. But you put your regular foot forward. You don't boast. And it's just like dating. You don't boast and say I'm amazing. And, and you know, you're not <laughs> acting narcissistic, right? You're not acting overly confident because that's showing what if you're overconfident you're overcompensating so just put your regular foot forward this is who i am this is what's going on with me i would like to work your, for your company because right i'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole of why you're looking for a job that's not what you're put on this earth to do i don't know what your circumstances are i have no idea I'm not going to sit here and say, don't get a job. This is about entrepreneurship or anything like that. If you're feeling like you need to get a job or that's what your heart is telling you to do, I'm just saying, how do we approach the interview itself? And the interview itself needs to be approached with calm, centered energy. And the way we do that is to realize that source, God, universe, whatever you want to say, never makes mistakes ever never makes mistakes ever has never made a mistake and will never make a mistake ever so can you go into the interview with calm centered energy knowing that the universe never makes mistakes and get to know the person on the other side of the desk as it were you know there's this technique that's been floating around lately about you should interview the interviewer <sighs> that's almost like how to manipulate people. If you are in that calm center and energy, putting your regular foot forward, and you know your self-worth, you know what you bring to the table, you will naturally ask questions of the interviewer to see if this is a correct fit for you or not. That's what they're doing on the other side of the table. They're seeing if you're going to fit their company. Well, you can ask similar questions. You know, what's, the, what's your guys' work ethic like? You know, do you, is it a family atmosphere? Is it a friendly atmosphere? Is it a high intense atmosphere? Is it conducive to creative energy or not? So you can only approach those from internal security, knowing everything's going to be okay. And if you've got to lie to yourself, if you don't believe everything's okay, that's all right too. Do that. But whatever you do, approach a job interview with calm, centered energy and with the awareness that nothing is wrong and just like dating you might have to go on several interviews you might have to look for several jobs you might have to look for a long time to find something and you're like oh my god i'm freaking out think about it like this let's say you're freaking out you go get the first job that comes along now you're depressed because you got to still look for jobs while you have this new one if you go get a job out of frantic energy and desperation the fear will calm down because now you can pay your bills, but now you're trapped. And you're thinking to yourself, 
do I keep going on new job interviews? Because this is not what I wanted. This was just to pay the bills. But what if you get stuck in that? And then what are you going to tell the new people? I just needed a job? See, see how desperation has a, it clouds judgment, first of all, and it shows insecurity. Which comes off as someone who interviews people quite, quite a bit. It comes off as you're not sure of yourself, which means you're not sure of your skills. That's what you want to avoid. Be sure of yourself and sure of your skills. Anytime you sit down in an interview and you are definitely more likely to get the job, if that's what Source wants for you. I hope that helps. See you next time.